Good morning, good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you, Australia. Coming to you with a dip today. I'm going to do a dip. I have these two round canvases. I'm not sure of the size. So I'm going to dip on the both of them. And I'm going to dip onto bubble wrap. Lots of people ask me when I dip on bubble wrap, do you dip on the bubble side or the flat side? The, the bubble side is what I dip on, is just to get the texture on your um, artwork, just to give it a little bit of depth. So it is the, um, definitely the bubble, the bubbles up, bubbles up people. Always better with the bubbles up. <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to stick my bit of um, bubble wrap down to my sheet just because when I lift the um, particular canvases up off it, it can uh, bring the bubble wrap up with it too. So, it's, it's, and I found that it is better to secure your bubble wrap. Now, um, I'm using the Montmartre paints with my normal pouring medium. My pouring medium recipe, and if you use the same pouring medium recipe and pouring medium as per description in my box, you will get lovely, lovely cells um, in your work. Not that I am looking for cells in this actual dip. I'm not particularly worried if I don't get cells in it. So, but it's just paint that I have left over that I'm going to use for this particular dip. So everything is there that you'll need in the drop down box underneath to do a, um, a dip, a dip dip. So I'm going to dip the canvas as such. So I've put some push pins, they're giant push pins. And you will find them in any other country. You'll find them in an office supply, office supply stores, um, or stationeries, things like that. So that's where you find. And I've put them on the bottom so I can lift it up off like that and put it. So that small one I haven't because I'm gonna a double dip on the uh, double dip on the. Um, bubble wrap. So this is a nice easy beginner's um, pour to do. It gives you good results, usually gives good results. Um, and so for a beginner it's encouraging to get good results, you know, the first times you attempt this particular technique. So I've got all these gorgeous colours mixed up of Montmartre paints and I've had them mixed up a few days so I'll just use some of them and I'll explain what colours they are as we go. So, 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 so. Here we go. Rightio. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I just want to mark off on there where my... It's just so I don't put paint where I don't need it. Thank you, Dave. So it's the end of my weekend here in Australia, so I suppose you guys are all um, over your weekend now or when you see, by the time you see this particular video. So I do hope you had a good one and I hope you had a stress-free one, which is always nice, isn't it? So I'm going to put a bit of gold and silver in this. Usually for a dip you try to keep the paints a little bit thicker than you would normal but um, these were made up for pours that I've done this week so might not be quite the right consistency but I will just try it anyway so this is the lovely gaunt, gaunt gold <laughs> Montmartre gold it's really sheeny shiny it's got a lovely sparkle in it and we can all do with a bit of sparkle in our lives. So, so, so. So I'm just sticking to the chevron V pattern. I just find that it gives really good results. So, you know, I'll just stick with it. And I'm going to put some silver in this too. 
this has all actually had the pouring medium and the um, I did add a couple of uh, drops of the, the Helmar silicone because as I said it was meant for a different pour but if I was particularly mixing paint just for a dip you don't actually need um, silicone in it if you don't want sort of cells to come up in your particular artwork so it's not a but I'm just using what I have and we'll see how it comes out now I'm going to go for the Viridian green because this is just the most gorgeous kind of teal teal green so yes if you're a beginner do these kind of V shapes it just seems to work out really nice on the finished product I find so I just want to give when you're a beginner it's important that you get good results so you don't get discouraged So we'll give this a try and see what this one comes out like. I might go for the gorgeous orange in there because they're all colours that look lovely together. So I don't want the orange to take over so I won't put too much in here. I suppose this would be far easier if you put all your paint into um, squirty bottles then you could do it probably even more successfully if they were in squirty bottles. So I'm going to just use the white around my perimeter. Had a lovely day um, today we have here it's um, been really pleasant about 25 26 degrees um, it's still I don't think we're officially into autumn yet but we have some lovely winter weather um, it's been we went down to the beach cool and beach and had breakfast with our son and daughter-in-law and um, other daughter so it's a nice family time which is always lovely so had a very pleasant day oh and then we went to visit her son and daughter-in-law have put a deposit on their very first home so very exciting time for them and us you know to see your kids doing well and of course our new baby granddaughter is due I think the first week in December I've been asked to crochet. I have never done crocheting, so please help me, people. Crochet a little bonnet for the baby. I don't do crocheting, but I suppose I shouldn't never say never because I will give it a go, but anybody out there can give me a helping hand. It's going to be summer here in Queensland, so I don't know. Just want a little bonnet for a bonce for a head. Uh, um... So that was the Berry Delicious, which I make up myself out of the real deep red. And then I add a blob of phthalo blue and a blob of a black if you want it to go even darker. Just add in a bit more gold because it seems that the gold, oops, seems to sink. So I'm just going to try it anyway. Might have added way too much like I always do. So I've got my apron on, I'm wiping my hands and then sometimes I forget and think I have an apron on and wipe it over all clean clothes, my hands over clean clothes. So that's a silly jilly. So let's see how we go with the bubble wrap dip. All good fun, all good fun, easy beginners. So it's just pressing it down into the bubble wrap. So you're basically allowing your canvas to absorb all this lovely paint and hopefully get something that looks pleasant when I lift it up. So 
The edge you can either finish off afterwards or you can just wait till it dries and go around the edge with a gold is quite nice or silver or white or any colour that complements your uh, painting, your dip. If you're doing this particular one to sell or give away, I would tape all the way around so you don't get any um, paint on the back of your canvas. It's quite nice to way to finish off. So here we go. Is shall pull it this way this time. Look and see how it pulls. Oh, oh, looky, looky. That's pretty nice, hey. See, you always get lovely results with a dip. But I'm getting cells popping up in that and that's really what I didn't want was cells. But, you know, stick with it. Okay, I might just put a bit more gold in because as I said, it keeps disappearing on me just for this little mini one. Probably don't need any more paint, but I'm going to. I'll show you that again in a minute, but it is nice and it's a nice, easy, easy technique, but usually a, a good, you know, a not, it usually turns out beautiful. So I put a bit more of me Berry Delicious, because it's Berry Delicious. What's happening there? I'm running out. Yeah, let's give this little teeny tiny a go. Just press it in. I've got my cloth. <laughs> okay, just pushing it down so it's it's you know so it's allowing the canvas to absorb the paint. Pick it up, pick it up. Is the puppies having a little bark when they hear my voice? Oh, that's mommy must be coming to feed us. I'm just the feeding machine now. I've took it, I've taken over from the mommy because the mommy doesn't want to really give them much now. Okay, let's concentrate. Oh, it's quite pretty too. Oh, I do like those. See, you get really nice results. Hang on, I'll match the other one. Very pretty. I love it. Let me know what you think. Actually, before I let you go, I'm going to use my, oh, where is it? Wonder Wand. Wonder Wand. Now, if you're looking this up on Amazon, actually Wonder Wand may come up as something that you don't particularly uh, hang on, let me think of this politically correct word in that you wouldn't use for paint pouring. So when you look it up on Amazon in any other country but Australia, look up um, heat embossing wand. Otherwise it may come up as a self-pleasure toy and that is no good for this kind of art. Okay, so just a little heads up. It's a heat embossing wand. So much safer and easier than butane. I'll just give it a little bit. Burst the bubbles. Air bubbles. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There you go. There's my hubby. John, what do you think? Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Looks yeah. good. You yeah. like it? Did you dip that on top of that, did you? Um, I dipped this, the big one, into mm. the bubble wrap All there. Right. Yep. And then I took that off and then I dipped a little one again. So I got two for the price of mm. one. Yeah. Pretty good. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and watching me daily. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And I... Yeah, thank you all so much. I'll give you a bit of a close-up on this one. And I will put some of the dry photos on at the end. But it is pretty gorgeous, you know. 
it's really nice easy you'll get great results you want to give somebody a gift put some of these big rounds in for sale they usually go really well so enjoy your art people until next time stay safe stay connected with one another and bye for now